Hi, class. How you doing? Hey, I'm experimenting with some different technology here today. And my laptop and doesn't seem to be working real well. So if I get frustrated, it's not because of you. It's just because I'm trying to do a whole bunch of new stuff and some of it works, some of it doesn't work. So I wanted to use this kind of screencast-o-matic program with a Microsoft whiteboard program on my Dell touchscreen laptop. And I'm struggling with it. So bear with me. I'm down here in the corner now. Sorry about that. And let's put a little text box here. And I'm going to move that. See, it didn't go where I wanted to go. Okay, I'm going to put that right up here, and, okay, so chapter um, 15 is pretty much in the books now. We're going to uh, do a quick uh, topical summary, and then maybe review a couple problems. So, chapter 15, let's find it here real quick. The notes are, of course, on the portal as well. And you'll see right here that first thing we covered was terminology. Um, energy, specific heat. Enthalpy, all those fun things. Second thing we covered was conversions. Nope. And conversions included um, the small cal, small c calorie to big c calorie the joule to small c calorie and all the different conversions there. Um, then we covered what the word heat was and talked about the equation Q equals MC delta T. I'm going to call that the um, heat equation. And for some reason it's not let me put the keyboard here. So, um, Heat equation. Uh, which was um, Q. Let's see if I can do this. Equals M C. And now we get a delta. I don't know how to do that. Let's see if we can find one here. Hmm. Aha! Very cool. And then we had the surroundings, the universe, the conservation of energy, the uh, chemical potential energy, the thermal or thermochemistry, the calorimeter system, surroundings, Enthalpy of reaction, um, and you should study your notes about those things. 
Uh, remember that the enthalpy of reaction is always the final minus the initial, um, which is uh, products minus reactants. And then we talked about um, enthalpy change for reaction and how it's positive if it's endothermic and it's negative if it's exothermic and um, by the way let's see if I can get a little delta H in here And the heat of reaction or the enthalpy of reaction was always the products minus the reactants. And we characterize that with our bicycle illustration. Another thing we'll put in here is a calorimeter. Problems. Need equation problems. Empathy. Um, products minus reactants. Delta H. And here we have. Whole bunch of different H's. More enthalpy. And that was combustion. Vaporization. Um, fusion. Reaction. Etc. And that led us up to um, S's, which I guess is uh, technically three S's in a row of an apostrophe. Uh, we've got more to do in this chapter, and we'll save that for the week of April 6th. Um, for now, here is a quick outline of things to study. Now, let's see if I can make this whiteboard do what it's supposed to do. Hmm, interesting. So if we have a Q equals M C delta T, now we can do any number of problems similar to this. Um, let me see if I can 
find one real quick here. Okay, so I'm going to do the calorimeter problem from page 986. It looks like this. Can you see it right there? I think it's this one right there. So find that on page 986, section 15.2, question number 6. Now let's work that problem together here. I'm going to do a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That's not working. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can move this screen. One of our services is down. Our sink is experiencing temperature. Oh, well, that's not good. Um, it's not. Allowing me to move things around on the screen here. So, whoa! Don't do that. Huh, interesting. Okay. So, a 75 gram sample of metal is placed in boiling water until its temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. So, here's our. Um, bomb calorimeter problem calorimeter contains 100 grams of water at a temperature of 24.4 degrees c let's draw a picture of a calorimeter here okay inside our calorimeter is some water the problem tells us there's a um, 100 grams of water at 20 4.400 grams, 24.4 degrees Celsius. Sorry, it's hard to write on this screen because I'm not using a pen. I could try using my pen, but every time I do, it starts spazzing out on me and doing weird things. Uh, the metal sample is removed from the boiling water, which means the metal sample, and let me draw a picture of that. See? I don't like it. The metal sample. The metal. Who knows? The metal sample. Well, let me write on it now. metal sample kind of looks like this and it's 100 degrees and the final temperature of the metal in the water is 34.9 so we're going to take this and drop it in there it's going to lose heat Q equals MC delta T this guy is going to gain heat, Q equals MC delta T. And the final temperature of both of them, T sub N, is going to equal 34.9 degrees. Yay, Celsius. So we know the M of the water, 100 grams. The question, we know the mass of the metal, it's 75 grams. We know the C value of water, that is 4.184. You know that because you memorized it, yay! And that is joules per gram degree C. And the question is, what is the specific heat of the metal? So the only thing we don't know here is the specific heat of this. So here's the thought. The thought process is the amount of energy lost. I only have 14 seconds, by the way, and then it's going to stop recording. So I'm going to start another recording in a minute, and we'll pick it up right here. So sorry about that.